Oh, this looks like a nice place. Wood floors, nice. Wood door, nicer. I'm inside the bale house. Oh. Dead person on the floor. That's not nice. Not nice. Look what you did to the table. That was probably a nice table. What the hell? No courtesy. Could have died like on the floor, not on the table. Alfred, the veils are dead. I scouted out. Confirmed, but there was a nice, lot of blood. Nice. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it. Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Mm -hmm. Syringe. Oh, Seems syringe. she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Excuse me. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Yes, it is. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. He didn't have an injection wound on his neck. It was his hand. Come on, it's a minus one telltale. Totally different. Recent family photo. Vicky's Like Montoya. It. it shows the veils with period. another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Okay, okay. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services. Is about it? About a monthly stipend for foster Freaking parents. Freaking hell, I couldn't tell. Vicky's a Looked bit like old it was for that, isn't she? Squares. It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. Oh, she's happy. Happy as a lark, I bet. Is that the same? Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Right. That's a lot of freaking blood. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. How is that not something like thrown? Arterial Nothing spray. I can see. I'm telling you, if you got hit in the head or something, and that much blood freaking were out of you, I would I, that, that would be surprised. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force, based on how clean the slice is. Ooh. Trail of blood leaving, leading to the closet. Good, good. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Hello? Anybody in here? Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive. Daddy. What? He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Okay, so the logo goes to the logo on the picture. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Okay. This blunt weapon. Obviously, the belt. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. 
It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Syringe? Neck wound? I don't think this is gonna freaking link, but you know, all of that, anything's worth a shot. Oh. Same device, same That's drug. Not good. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. That's like a give me. Wait. Okay. Why did. Oh no, I guess they didn't disappear. I, I guess they're just too far. I was like, why. Why is this still here, but yet I can't see. Whatever. Hair to knife, okay. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. What exactly happened in that house? Uh, I murder. think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Simple. Vicky needed a place World's to hide supply detectives. Of Her Could father's trucks out. and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think mm. someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. Okay. I don't know why it was detecting, like, is the oven on or something? Is hot water running through the freaking pipes right now? I don't think it works Anything? like that. How are no. the logs still hot? What the hell? Fire's not going. If it was 10 hours, then you know, the logs would be cold, everything would be cold. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. He's Harry Potter. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. Bruises. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Y yeah? I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Alright. Get down. Oh. Great. Bulletproof cape, is that realistic? Well, hello, Batman. Oh no. What a pleasure to see you. 
tell you. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Gah! Gah! Nice work, kid. Hmm, <gasps> yeah, you probably a good sight. They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman, and no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true, and I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. He saved me. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Mm. I see they get along just fine. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. Okay. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Mm -hmm. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. 
Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce. Great. I Great. am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my a bug function? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. What? So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Well, Who knows either, how he will react either way? Either way is uh, pretty bad. Oh, this is Bruce. Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. The ultimate debate. I don't know if Bruce right to do. or Batman. Do that. Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey, we need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. I have always supported you. You were my friend. Tell me, Bruce, were you thinking about our friendship when you were screwing Selena? Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. The value of your estate, it could be used to do a lot of good. I'll pay this city back on my terms, not yours. Nah, I think I like my terms better. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. When they see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better, that I would weed out the crime and corruption. Mm. Boy, you are really living up to your campaign slogan, aren't you? Put a dent in crime. Oh, I'm living up to it, all right. I'm about to put a dent in crime so large, it'll change the face of Gotham forever. <laughs> the children of Arkham won't know what hit them. What are you talking about? Ready to go. Do it. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! 
Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. Mm. That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? Does a leader kill innocent people? You're a murderer now. Their deaths are unfortunate. But think about everyone the children of Arkham could have hurt with those drugs. That feels like an acceptable price to pay. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. That I am the guardian of Gotham. After what you've done to me. He said the thing. Everyone said the thing. in Gotham is going to see who they really elected mayor. And when that happens, they will turn against you. On the contrary, Bruce, this is what Gotham wanted. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham Terror Plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Oh. Tragic, but unsurprising. Maybe even dear old Alfred will shed a tear. If you kill me, you better make sure I'm dead. Because if not, what I did to Cobblepot will look like child's play. <laughs> Good to know. Oh! Back of the head treatment. Come on. Come on keep walking. Wait. Shut up! Just wait. Just keep moving. Look at what you're doing. This is wrong. And you know hey, it. He said shut up. Anyway, you cut this, this is murder. Is that what you want? This city is at war. Sometimes casualties are the cost of winning the war. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah. We finally got a leader who wants results. You gotta see it. What the penguin did to him, he changed him. He's, he just had to get more firm in the face of the children of Ark. He still got in the, the city's best interest at heart. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes you can to do help that. greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Because it's based on the comic book. Fellow officers died. I... I, but if you think that's where he's going to stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I, uh, well, maybe, uh, maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh, nothing. You know I'm telling the truth. And I know you're hearing me. You're right. Oh God, I was about to... I'm sorry. I oh. knew you didn't have the stones for this. Oh. Officer, drop your weapon. You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Denton just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are... Just awful. That's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. The amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arkham might be neck and neck on body count by this point. You gotta be able to arrest him after this, right? We're doing what we can, Bruce. But there aren't a whole lot of contingency plans for what to do when your mayor starts blowing up the city. I can't help but feel guilty. Oh, oh, oh. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. Okay. I handed it into my Calm superiors. Calm down, game. Please don't crash. God. 
this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head, as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. <sighs> I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Sounds to me like you're already on the right path. Weeding the bad seeds out of the department. Cutting down the enforcers. Yeah, I just hope it'll be enough. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. What's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. Here's the device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Oh, Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. We gotta prioritize Batman. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Oh, tuck, tuck. Time to remove a big pawn off the board. Hello? Lucius, are you there? How did you I'm get off site, But I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where all's old guards are, and which routes are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. Turn around. Head for the other. I'm opening the doors. Now. Great. <clears throat> I assume Oswald is in my office. Naturally. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless, you you're all bloody useless! Not in my picture. Hey, it's the Baron Deadman! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Globe while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah? I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. You seem pretty confident about that. Yeah, well I am. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. You and your plans are over, Penguin. You're going down. Wrong. This is just the start. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. 
He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why waste our time trying to hack into Wayne technology when we can own it? And with it, we'll strike back at the dead administration. And then the liberation can truly begin! Okay, I think I'm getting bored of this now. Oh. Oh, Ooh, perfect I see. timing. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Oh. Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Oh, well, thank you. Face it, Batman. You tell you're me outmatched. That. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You can't oh, yeah. stop us. Watch me. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Come on, Batman. Show me what you got. Please don't crash game. It would suck to be this close to the My end of the episode. You have to replay it. Ooh. Am I allowed to move? Should I be allowed to move this? I don't think so. Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes. All your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. This is how it feels when you put on that suit. I like it. Ooh. Pretty bruised, man. Can you take it easy? Oh, my nose. That's plastic surgery now. you learned yet I've shut you down I'm the one with the toys now bad <laughs> oh my precious teeth this is the start of a new legacy gotta have to get dentures now you don't have any place in it <laughs> Oh, you know what? That probably would hurt a good bit. Definite discussion. But sadly, not really a concussion. Because it's a comic book. Oh, God. It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady uh, Arkham. Oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she uh, planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off. Uh, I'm not telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find you. You're nothing but a pawn to her. And you're a fool if you think otherwise. You don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. I die before I sell out the cause.
Well, I think that went well. What the? Just cut me down, mate. Oh. Well, that's gonna be a bit of a dent in my fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope Alfred's all right. Sorry, was this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> just tell them Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> Ooh, episode four, Guardian of Gotham. Oh, that's a pretty close one. And now my streak is broken. Oh, God. I was doing majority all the time. And now it's a minority. And another minority. Fudge! But I felt for this one, you know, Bruce Wayne is still, you know, a savior at heart. He wouldn't allow that to happen. Even though it didn't make a lick of goddamn difference, but a majority. This episode is pretty like close so far, except for you know the last choice. This one also pretty close. Oh god! Ha! Majority! Yay! Majority! What the hell, man? We had a minority episode. The canon playthrough is still canon because I made all the correct choices in the end. You just don't want to admit it. But yeah. No next time on since it's the last episode. Next episode, you know. So yeah, I hope... You enjoyed this episode, you beautiful bastards. And I will see you in the epic conclusion. I I think I heard that there's going to be a possible definite crash that happens in that fifth episode. So that's going to be great. I need to find out where it is so I can doubly make sure it doesn't happen and I can save the footage before it does. But, uh, say la vie. we'll get there when we get there. But yeah, anywho, I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.